Joe Biden has been missing in action for years. The signature on his memo announcing that he is dropping out of the 2024 election has been proven to be a forgery. And according to the artificial intelligence voice app, 11 Labs, the recent alleged phone call from Biden was created using the app. I know yesterday's news was surprising and, uh, and it's hard for you to hear, but it was the right thing to do. It's, uh, it, I, I know it's hard because you poured your heart and soul into me. Okay, let's just go on old 11 Labs and see if that's really all they probably used for this. So, upload. There we go. And let's see what we got. Yeah, looks like uh, they didn't even really try. By most accounts, there has been at least three fake Joe Bidens on camera since his election. We have seen images that show Joe Biden with different earlobes, which would be impossible if it were all the same person. We have seen videos that show what appears to be a rubber mask with a rubbery chin. Virtually every... Can't tell me this is normal. Look at his forehead. This is bullshit. That's a mask. That's a skin mask. It ain't normal. Look at it. In the early 90s, former head of disguise for the CIA wore a mask as she briefed George H.W. Bush in the White House about the latest disguise technology. She fooled him while sitting at his desk. I was a little paranoid. I'd never worn one of these masks before in public, and you get nervous. Nobody paid any attention, of course, uh, so I relaxed. We went, in the, we went in the Oval Office, so I showed him some photographs of disguises we had done for him when he was chief of disguise. We said, you, you might remember these. He did. I said, so I'm here to show you the next level. He said, so show me. I said, well, I'm, I'm wearing it. And I'll, I'll take it off and show it to you. And he said, no, 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 don't take it off. And he got up, he came out, he walked and he looked, he went behind me, he was checking it out. He went back, he sat down and he said, take it off. So I just peeled off my face. Whenever you connect to the internet on a public Wi-Fi network at airports, coffee shops, friends' houses, or even at your own home, your data is at risk of being stolen and spied on. That's why we recommend and use private internet access. Private internet access helps protect your personal data by encrypting your internet connection through their world-class server infrastructure, which makes your information shielded and bulletproof. Private internet access has had an audit done conducted by a big four firm, as they know VPN use is tied to trust letting you be sure their 100% no-logs policy is safe and secure. Streaming services such as Netflix, Amazon Prime, Disney Plus and more have different library options based on where you are located and some shows cannot be accessed if you are not located in the region. Private Internet Access helps you overcome these restrictions by giving you the option to change your IP address to one of their 91 countries to choose from and all 50 US states allowing you to gain access to websites and services that are only available in those locations. Private internet access is available for all platforms, and you can use one private internet access subscription to protect an unlimited amount of devices at the same time. Get 83% off plus four months free of private internet access using our link for a limited time. Click the link in the description or visit piavpn.com slash anonymous official and protect all your devices. This 40-year technology was classified until a few years ago. This is the only photograph I ever got. So I'm sitting in front of the president's desk with my hand in the air, mm. I'm holding the mask, showing it to him, and they airbrushed it out. So the picture in my library, I don't know what you would think I'm doing, but people say that's... They airbrushed the mask out. Yeah, it was classified. They gave me the picture of I me. I mean, I've seen the picture, but I, you well, can't you, tell. You're, you're seeing the recent pictures because now we can talk about masks. A year ago, I could not tell you this story. It was still considered Why classified. Why could you say it now? Because they, they have allowed it now. Which to me, you know, what does that mean? Uh, sources and methods are classified. This evidently is no longer classified. Perhaps they're not using these anymore. Or maybe they've gotten wow. so good that what I'm saying 
has nothing to do with the new ones. I think that's more like it. While many are making a fuss about a missing U.S. president and wondering who's running the country, U.S. presidents have been missing for decades. All we've had in the White House for our entire lifetime is a puppet frontman for the military industrial complex and the big bank bureaucrats who have turned America into incorporated. The forces running this country are still in charge. They are just looking for a new puppet to fool the masses into thinking America is the land of the free. Let me ask you, how many times you guys made masks for presidents to distract the audience? Like, are there duplicates out there as well that we don't know about? Or we can't know the answer to that question? There's, you know, I don't know. S Saddam had all these, yeah. is that what you're talking yes. about? We have a picture of Saddam in a, in a boat on, on the Bosphorus or something with, with his 26 devils. They're all paddling. It's like 26 Saddams. Have you seen, have you seen this <laughs> I picture? Have seen it. They all look exactly alike. It's brilliant. So we didn't, we've never done that, that you know about. No, I, there's a long, great history of presidents doing that. Okay. But I don't know that we've ever done that. Uh, I got it. Okay. We are in a state of emergency right now, and people better wake the hell up to what's happening. Get ready for the mother of all false flag attacks. We begin with the global computer crisis. The worst may be over, but the outage is still causing problems. In the past few hours, we've gotten some really disturbing news about what's coming to the people of the United States and our infrastructure infrastructure that we rely on every day to live our lives. They will use you like pawns, so don't fall for it. So a couple of big stories that we're tracking today, all of this thanks to cybersecurity company CrowdStrike pushing a simple software update, as they say. It backfired, brought down the United States banking industry, the airline industry, e-commerce, you name it. Oh, and by the way, don't call 911 because there are nationwide outages of 911 services all across the U.S. When the CrowdStrike CEO was asked about it, he looked like he had a heart attack on live television. Either that or he was trying to pass a kidney stone at the time. Watch. Air travel, credit card payment systems, banks, broadcast, street lights, 911, emergency around the globe. Why is there not some kind of redundancy or some sort of backup? How is it that one single software bug can have such a profound and immediate impact? Well, when you look at the complexity of cybersecurity, you're always trying to stay one, excuse me, one step ahead of the adversaries. Excuse me, man, just one second, please. Oh yeah, take, take a drink of yeah. water. Yeah, that didn't go well. But this CrowdStrike story doesn't add up at all. Remember, CrowdStrike is the company that made up the fake Russiagate story. CrowdStrike was working for the Hillary Clinton campaign. And of course, a few hours ago, President Biden officially said he's not running for re-election, handing the torch over to Kamala Harris. And yet rumors are swirling this morning that Hillary Clinton will be the nominee at the Democratic National Convention. A coincidence? It's just awfully good that someone with the temperament of Donald Trump is not in charge of the law in our country. Because you'd be in jail. Secretary Clinton. And as journalist Aaron Mate reminds us, the FBI relied on CrowdStrike to independently investigate the hacked DNC servers. So I don't trust a damn thing that comes out of their mouths, and why should you? So when they tell us that a software update caused everything to collapse, don't believe them. Try going to your local bank ATM and take money out. Good luck. Chances are you won't be able to. I thought something was wrong with my ATM card yesterday. I tried three times at multiple locations, put my pin in repeatedly. It kept spitting my card out. Like, like I was back in college, broke, sorry, no money. Then a woman trying to do the same thing in the other lane said, the bank's down, she shouted. Oh, the bank is down. Wait, 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 wait. What the hell did she just say? The bank is down? I can't get American paper currency right now? Oh, right. Most of America's infrastructure is down. That makes sense. Early voting was just starting in the battleground state of Arizona. Sorry, we have to close our electronic voting machines. You can't vote because America is down right now. Come back another time. Meanwhile, don't call 911 because 911 services are also reportedly down in areas all over the country. Last week on our show, we just so happened to be covering how the 911 grid is collapsing across the United States. Journalist Whitney Webb explained how this is intentional and our 911 services are now being outsourced to Israel. And actually, there's another company that Peter Thiel uh, funded that's involved with developing this pre-crime uh, system in the United States uh, by actually taking over uh, county by county uh, the nation's 911 emergency call systems. Uh, this is an Israeli-founded uh, company called Carbi 911. 
uh, that was uh, nominally headed for a long time uh, by Ehud Barak, the former Israeli prime, prime minister. Uh, Jeffrey Epstein funded it with a million dollars. Allegedly, Leslie Wexner, his biggest patron, did as well. This is a huge concern. I mean, as we head into this election, a lot of people saying, well, could we see some sort of, you know, big national emergency? And now 911 networks are going down across the United States, as the USA Today reported this past week. Is this like an effort for them to say, hey, your 911 network is down? Well, we have the perfect solution for you. It's an Israeli backed yes, 911 network. That is essentially what is happening. And it's actually been in the works for several years, uh, for several years now. Israel, which runs the entire United States Congress, can now also run our 911 emergency services in the United States. Makes total sense when you think about it, right? If I fall down, get hurt, call 911, it'll be routed right through Israel. What the hell is happening? While most people have been distracted by President Biden dropping out of the race or how many shooters tried to assassinate President Trump, newsflash, it was at least two people we now know, and possibly as many as three. So they want you to look over there while they execute the next part of their plan over here to keep the deep state in power. President Biden, of course, is just a puppet for the deep state. Now, don't get me wrong. Those are incredibly important stories. Trump's assassination, Biden being replaced. But what is coming is by all accounts bigger and will affect all of us. Pay attention to this, guys. What could be so big that it forces us into a lockdown, forces us to use their digital currency, forces us to change our behavior? Well, a massive infrastructure collapse, of course. An infrastructure collapse we can blame on another country. As BlackRock CEO Larry Fink just pointed out, you need to force people in order to change their behavior. You need to use force. Well, behaviors are going to have to change, and this is one thing we're, going to, we're asking companies. Uh, you have to force behaviors, and at BlackRock, we are forcing behaviors. Of course you have to use force. People don't want your lousy digital currency. They don't want to be locked down at home and told what to do. We knew this was coming, of course. The WEF has been warning us for years that the next pandemic wouldn't be a virus. It would be a cyber attack. The WEF detailed this attack in their Cyber Polygon report. And of course, it's shocking that CrowdStrike is a proud member of the WEF. You can't make this stuff up, guys. So the way to keep Biden in power, keep the deep state in power, is to create a massive false flag that harms every one of us, and then we blame it on a foreign adversary. Like, you know, 9-11, right? That's exactly how this works. So let's spin the wheel. Who could be behind all of this? Could it be Russia? Nah, they've tried that one. China? Nah, too obvious. Ah, yes, Iran. Where we are now is not in a good place. Uh, Iran, because uh, the nuclear agreement was uh, thrown out, instead of being um, at least a year away from having the breakout capacity of producing fissile material for a nuclear weapon, is now probably one or two weeks away from doing that. Over the past 24 hours, the White House is pretending to go into DEFCON 2, one step away from war with Iran. Oh, and the shooter that tried to kill Trump had an encrypted overseas account or multiple encrypted overseas accounts. Dare I say he was an Iranian secret agent? Oh, that's what they're trying to tell us next. Some other things are coming out, like the shooter had three encrypted accounts overseas. At the same time, we're having an Iranian plot. Uh, so, I mean, there is, I think this is gonna go much broader, much deeper. Iran is only one week away from having a nuclear weapon. The shooter that tried to kill Trump was an Iranian spy? So we better go to war with them right now. If you believe that, I have a bridge to sell you in the corrupt town called Netanyahu. A U.S. war with Iran, of course, is Netanyahu's wet dream. He's been dreaming about it for many, many years. Meanwhile, half of CrowdStrike's servers are located in Ukraine. Ukraine is run by the CIA. Again, I'm sure it's nothing. Remember when Donald Trump told us all that CrowdStrike had the DNC server in Ukraine? The reason they had it in Ukraine was to hide it from the U.S. government? For instance, I still ask the FBI, where is the server? So the server, they say, is held by a company whose primary ownership individual is from Ukraine. I'd like to see the server. They gave the server to CrowdStrike or whatever it's called, which is a country, which is a company owned by a very wealthy Ukrainian. Again, I'm sure it's nothing. No, in fact, I'm sure it's something massive coming for this country and people better be ready for it. Don't be fooled by the lies they are spinning right now. All the media will be on the same page when they try to trick you. They will all run stories almost within a 24 hour time period when they're trying to spin this yarn. They want you to be scared and they want you to be sheep that they can control. Don't be sheep, don't let them control you, period. Don't fall for it.